We just found the new king of cheater carburetors. Holy cow, it's a 28.8 millimeter monster compared to a 440, which is already known to be a gargantuan carburetor Venturi at 26. But you can literally see the bore difference looking down through these. That is massive. Also, I'm not saying anybody copied anybody, but those are the same exact standoffs that are in an NR Racing dual-jet carb. Interesting. You know, John, if you let us give you a haircut, you wouldn't have to keep tucking that behind your ear. I like having long hair sometimes. Oh, okay. So today... John's going to get to do the honors on ripping apart the new Duramax 500cc engine. So we've got laid out some sockets and stuff. It seems to pretty much just be an 8, a 10, and a 13 millimeter, plus or minus whatever the flywheel ends up being, and the spark plug. Over here, we've got a layout of the 440cc parts. From another engine that we tore down to block, we've got the head, the balance, the cam, we've got the crank kicking around over on the floor, we've got the special Duramax connecting rod with replaceable bearings in it. I've contacted Duramax, they're going to make sure this is available in the customer support if you call in. And we've got the exhaust in order to see whether the flanges line up. We've got the special 92 millimeter head gasket for the 440. Although the spec out on this is supposedly it's 94 millimeter on the piston in this. So we'll find out soon. Did you get it done yet? We just did the intro. Oh, okay. Well, rip it apart. Yeah, flip it over so that they can see the reinforcements. Yeah, it's quite heavy. Yeah, so they reinforced it because I'm pretty sure this one is actually bigger. So set that down over here. Okay. Yeah, they look pretty similar. All right, let's find out whether the exhaust flanges are the same. These we put up on our Patreon page as a file that you can send to Send, Cut, Send, which means you can order like 20 of them at about $3 a piece. So, how close are we? Oh, we are way off. No wonder the 440 didn't fit. All right, so custom flange, first thing on the list. I'm going to be working on a free DEX file for this in order to put up on the Patreon page, but for the builders out there, they are 55.6-ish, 55.5, on center if you want to make your own flanges. First interchangeable part found, 500 gas tank, 440. Both use the exact same mounting holes and locations. So this is bigger than the 440, if anybody needs an upgrade for gas mileage. We'll sort out more of the wiring later, but what I wanted to show right now is that the kill solenoid that's on the carburetor, both wires are exactly the same. One is going to power, the other one is going right directly to a ground, and it comes up through here. I do like that Duramax included clips that you can actually manage to undo. That's really cool. I also noticed this is a Kohler style clip. So that pulls sideways and then goes like that and you just lift it up and out. That's new. The other thing that is new that everybody is going to cheer about in the comments is right there. Duramax added in the go-kart throttle connection right there. So that goes to that standoff there for a throttle connection right in here. Awesome. Good job, Duramax. All right, John's going to undo this thing. We also noticed it's got a weird air intake to the side going on over here. 
Anybody want to put a hypothesis as to what's going on there? Interesting. I wonder if those are moisture catches right there. So this does look to be the same size as the regular Duramax 440 filter. Which, by the way, if you're dealing with one of those 440s, the filter is a proprietary size on the bottom. It's not the same as a GX390, even though all the Amazon sellers tell you it is. Order this directly from Duramax. Otherwise, you have to do a whole bunch of cuttery. Let's see, we got that. Hi, right, John. Looks like the standard 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. So why don't you wallop that off, please? Okay, so John's gonna pull the two 10 millimeters off of the studs for the carburetor. This is a 440 carburetor, which has the same bolt pattern as a GX390, but a bigger factory jet. Pull the box off. Is it stuccoed like the 440s usually are? All right, go ahead and Pull it right off, and you're gonna have a you're gonna have a hose there that you got to pull off too. Does it just not like you? Oh, it's just really tight. Okay, so let's grab the 440 carburetor and spin that. Grab the 440. Yes. Okay, so that is a modified version. So guaranteed the jet in this is going to be ginormous compared to a GX390. That's interesting. What is going on there? That's new. All right, we'll have to investigate that a little bit more later. We just figured out why this has the Kohler quick disconnect style. So over here, if we bring this out and we rotate it like we normally would, that holds it in place. So the only way you're going to get that out is to do the quick disconnect, lift the rod out, and turn sideways. There we go. Yeah, that thing's gargantuan. Look at the bore on that. They literally took it all the way to the side edge. You can just barely see an edge there. Let's talk about what is the same and what is most definitely without question different at this point. Duramax uses their own proprietary side covers. Interesting side note, these are both exactly the same side cover. So the only thing different is the stickers. As far as this goes, it looks to be the same flywheel, but we still have to check the taper. You definitely can see where the punch out is right there and right there for starter. So I noticed that the hole through here is way bigger than the holes through this, but that's potentially drillable. So we'll have to monkey around with that concept. But the big thing here is that everybody wants to know whether the heads are interchangeable. So if I take these and I put them right there from centerish to centerish, we've got 94, 95 ish millimeter. And then I come over here to these, and that puts us almost outside the centering dowels. So there is no bloody way that that is the same as that, which means that the custom copper head gaskets that I've been working on are definitely not going to fit this one. But we're still going to work on the custom copper head gasket, and we will see what's in underneath here in just a second. So this is the moment you've been waiting for. Let's find out what's underneath that valve cover. We did note that the screws for the valve cover, or bolts rather, are a different size than anything else on the engine. Whoop, careful. Definitely a Hemi head. 
gasket is a reinforced gasket. That's interesting. Not quite sure why that is, but overkill is better than underdoing. You can get to the head bolts without pulling the rockers. And it is the type that has pins held in by the captive here. So I think what we'll do is I think we will pull the heads and then we'll break this down a little bit after it's off the engine. Okay, for the person telling me that it wasn't going to fit, you win. You're the comment king of this video. So we're going to take this off and then punch these out. Go ahead, John. Let's get that off of there. Eight millimeter. There we go. Make sure not to drop that down into where the rods go. Okay, go ahead and put that back on. So these should slide out depending on where it is in the cycle. So there's that. That gets that one out of the way. Big giant rod. Yeah, look at that. Put the camera down and lo and behold, there, it comes off. Those are just stamped out Hemi sheet metal rockers with adjusters. And John, go ahead and take out the two nuts there. And yep, hand me the rods. And let's go take a look on whether these rods are the same length or not. They're definitely way bigger. They feel... Huh, we'll have to do a check on them as to whether they're steel or whether they're aluminum with caps. But... So, a 440 uses the exact same size rod as a GX390, which is why all the parts interchange. That, on the other hand, is most definitely not the same size. So we'll have to take a measurement on that. They were bigger than my calipers. So we got to butt it up there to the old school ruler. And they are right on the money at 19 centimeters. So 190 millimeter. There you go, engine builders. All right, so these turned out to be 15 millimeter and they are gargantuan. They are way bigger than the 440 head studs. See, these are 440 head studs. Okay, go ahead. There should be dowel pins holding it in place. Most engines usually have them. So we'll set those down. Okay, see if it'll pop off there. Yes, no, maybe. Oh, there it goes. Oh yeah, definitely got a spherical, spir, spherical head. There we go. Yeah, you can see the dish to it. Giant valves. We'll have to check that. And whoops, we just dropped a, we just dropped something very important here. I didn't notice the valves had caps on them. Whoa. Glad I heard that thing hit the table. That would have sucked to try and find. So it does have automotive keepers in it. So that is the same idea as the 440. Here's another keeper here. So good idea to note the fact that those are there. I'm still holding out hope that the insides are going to be as good as a 440 because the pistons are exactly the same style piston. But look at that gasket difference. Put it up there, John. Yeah. Yeah, that is one gargantuan cylinder. Yeah, show the... So this thing, by GX standards, is gargantuan. But that's loose inside of there. Holy cow. Alright, John. I think at this point we'll pop the flywheel off. And then we'll rip off that oddball 9-bolt side cover. I'm not going to make you watch me struggle for five minutes trying to put flywheels on because I finally got smart and grabbed the caliper. Both of these are the same exact 
width. They're both the same height at 58.6, but the 390 Duramax 440 is 22.7 by 39.7. This new 500 is 24.7 by 31.7. Exact same taper, but two millimeters bigger. And so this does not fit. All right, so what size did those end up being? 13. 13. And we did confirm that there's nine bolts, right? Uh, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the standard GX390 and 440 is a eight bolt. Now there is an older 10 bolt style and I printed out one of them so that we could compare it. And maybe this 9 bolt is just the 10 bolt style slightly changed. But you can still buy the 10 bolt off of uh, spudsracing.com. You can buy the 10 bolt gasket if you're looking for one. The sirens are going off. What did you do? It's the apocalypse. It's the apocalypse. Okay, apocalypse, get that off there. So, I noticed it's got a lot of the same exact changes and stuff, and I'm really starting to wonder if this thing is just a proprietary Duramax-only project. I know a lot of you guys have sent me links to potential things this could be a clone of, but none of them have a 9-bolt side cover. They're either a small, a smaller size of Hemi head, or they are entirely the wrong CC. Bearing in behind that. There it goes. Oh, did we save that proprietary gasket? Yes, yes we did. Okay. Oh, sweetness. Absolute sweetness. John, I'm going to flip this up right there. Look, there is a big, giant bearing on that side. Right there is something very beautiful. That is a full bearing in that other end, which means that the directions have the wrong picture in them. That is amazing news. All right, let's start pulling some other parts. Okay, so if you ever have a Duramax cam kicking around, right there, that R number is what it's made for. But for some reason, they have a 420 on the one they put in the 440 also. And this worries me. This is 101.7 around there. And this just plain looks bigger, and it says R500 right there. So this is the same, but if we throw some calipers across it... We end up with 104-ish, depending on where you measure on the tooth. So this is definitely proprietary to this particular engine. It is not the same size as a GX390. We're going to check the balance also while we're here. Because I'm going to bet that might be different. Not that anybody runs a balance shaft if they're building an engine. But that is 77. And... Yeah... So this is 74, and that is 14, 14.9, 14.9. So yeah, stuff inside is definitely different. We're going to dig in and pull the crank and the rod now to see what those look like. Well... On a bad news, the 10 bolt is nowhere near the same. So that means this gasket is definitely proprietary to this engine. On a possible side note, 
I got measuring the inside of this head gasket, and it's actually 95 millimeter. And after doing some Google search on Spuds Racing, I found this, which looks to be the exact same as what's in here. So we're going to have to find some time to order up one of these from Spuds Racing and see if that's what we need. I'm going to reach out to Spuds Racing since they seem to have this really oddball 89cc and find out if maybe it had a proprietary side cover. But if they tell me it was the 10 bolt that fit on that, then we're dead in the water on that idea. Really starting to wonder if somebody just got a hold of whoever makes the 440 and said, just make everything two millimeters bigger. Because that's exactly what these are. Each one of those lobes is two millimeters exactly bigger on the 500. So it's got a bigger gear and bigger lobes. These gears also confirm as being bigger. So... Yeah, time to get the piston out. All right, well, here's the moment where people either rage quit or they're happy. That really weird tailed end does not have a bearing in it. We're going to pull it the rest of the way, and we're going to see if it's the same size as the 440 rod that we know is the same as a GX390. But, there we go. Oh, that is one beefcake of a rod. Holy cow. So that is huge. The piston is extremely tiny and thin. There's not really much after the oil ring. Let's take, let's take this and see if it's the same. So these are 18 millimeter, just like a GX. Yep, that's definitely 18 millimeter. So that's hopeful. Let's see. Yeah, they're pretty close. All right, let's get a micrometer across that and see. Oh, I can see that the rods are different. So, this rod here, out of the 500, is clocked probably about 6 degrees further that way, and it's reinforced here. It's got a really nice big oil feed to it, but they do look to be exactly the same. So, we'll put a mic on it, and we'll see. They're definitely the same length. So... Let me get this popped out of here. Make sure you put your thumb on that stupid little 18 millimeter clip. This took it. Uh oh, that's a different size. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a different size. Yeah, so if we put this into the 440, it's going to be entirely too. Yeah, it's way too short. So that's exactly the same 18 millimeter. But it is way too short to go in there. Now let's see if the two rods are interchangeable. No, they're not going to be. Because I can see right now that's different. Oh, that's way different. Okay, so they're both the same. Oh yeah, you can see right there that piston it V's in. So you'd have to have that rod to go with it. Because I'm going to bet this, which is a GX390 style rod, yeah, it won't fit down in because of that taper. So it's the same 18 millimeter, but it's not fitting in there unless you got really happy with a grinder. Okay. Well, let's answer the last question, shall we? If we grab a micrometer. And we go across there. We have a not perfect measurement of 
1.7. But at this point, considering the way things have been, nope. That is way different. That is gargantuanly totally different. If I can get this to click, I don't know why it wouldn't go back together the last time. There it goes. Thirty-eight point four one. So it's the same length, it looks, but entirely different. Eighty four one three. Eighty four six eight. So yeah, that's entirely different. Which means that the crank is different also. Hi, John. So you've taken apart V-Twins and you took apart a GX390 and a few other engines. Scale of 1 to 10, how hard was tearing the Duramax down to block? Uh, 10 being the worst, I guess. A 4? A 4? Yeah, I would agree with that. I mean, if you can tear apart a GX390, uh, a Predator 212, you can definitely tear this thing down to block. Everything in it is basically two millimeters bigger. They basically just took the 440 and scaled it two millimeters. Even the webbing on the block is literally scaled by two millimeters. Um... That's what it is. It is a 440 scaled up. It does have bearings on both ends of the crank. The cam is proprietary. The connecting rod is proprietary. The piston is proprietary. The flywheel is unfortunately proprietary also. Now we got to sit back and wait and we got to see what kind of support we're going to get in the aftermarket. Do I think you can stage one kit this thing? Easily, without any question. I've actually been talking with a couple of other people, and a lot of us are de we're debating whether a 34 or a 38 millimeter um, carburetor upgrade would be a good idea for these, especially since the intake on this thing is like 32.5 millimeter. I'm going to measure up the valves, but they're definitely bigger than a 440 also. What do you think we should do with this engine? Uh, no idea. Good. Because the correct answer is you should put the damn thing back together. You took it apart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We really do have to put this back together so that we can put it on something. I haven't really figured out exactly what we're going to do. We might throw it on to Bubba Yega, the purple dragster that we built, and ramrod this thing clear into 6,000 plus RPMs, like we did with the 440. I'm not sure. We'll see. We might get abusive. We might not. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. You know how this goes now. <laughs>